and my wife grabbed our kids and went running as fast as she could to the hospital and she was freaking out. Trooper Ernie Gear will never forget the day he was hit in his patrol car at 60 miles an hour and the impact it made on his life. It's devastating to both us and our families too. Over the past three years alone, drivers have crashed into 86 state patrol vehicles, injuring 32 troopers. It's an all too familiar story that happens over and over and over. This crash involved trooper Brian Zilmer. I just got sucker punched. It felt like out of nowhere. In fact, of the four troopers we talked to today, three of them have been hit by people who simply didn't slow down or move over to give them some space on the side of the road. Sergeant Keith Leary was investigating one crash when somebody crashed into him. What it's saying to us is it's a problem, is we need the drivers to do a better job. The law in the state of Washington, when there's a vehicle with emergency lights, Okay. You either have to slow down or move over. That law has been on the books for seven years now, but people still haven't gotten the message. This car blew past a trooper making a traffic stop today at 64 miles an hour. A car that's doing 64 miles an hour that hits me, I'm no contest for it. Troopers are now actively targeting people who violate that law. As they look out for you, they hope you'll look out for them. Are you a parent? Are you a father? Because if you are, I want to go home to my children too.